Hey everyone, it's Tammy, and I just have a project share to share with you today. I am making a shadow box, or I have made a shadow box. This is the shadow box. I got it on Amazon. I will try to remember to link it below. I think it was $16, and it's an 8x8, and it looks like the way that they have it is that you're supposed to punch things onto the shadow box. That wasn't really my plan, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to fit it all in there yet. I may even have to cut it a little bit less than an 8x8 so that they'll fit perfectly inside there. I'm really not sure. I hadn't really... I started before I made the made these, so it looks like I'm going to need to cut it probably, I'm going to guess, a quarter of an inch on each side and have it fit like right inside there. And then maybe I'll... I don't know if I'll use the push pin thing or not, but I'll make it work. And it's a really cute shadow box and I love that it's white and I love that it's easy to hang. It just has one little hook up here. So that will be nice. <clears throat> and I'm going to hang it here in my craft room. And my plan is just to change it out every month. So I have made one for each month and I think it will be easy enough to trim a little bit off the edges of these. So I'm not too worried about it. But this is for January and I just did a coffee theme. I love this little hedgehog. One of my friends and subscribers, I'm calling her a friend, just sent this to me and I thought it was too darn cute. So I made a page with focusing on that cute little hedgehog and it's just coffee, just kind of to warm you up in a cold January. So that is for January. And then February I have this one which is a cute little stamp from Stamping Bella. And it says, chocolate is the answer. Who cares? What's the question? And I just colored her in with some alcohol inks and some Wink of Stella and just tried to make it cute. And then this is some retired Stampin' Up! paper. And I used some flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby and some ribbon flower that actually, I don't know where this came from. It's just decorative twin, decorative trim. Oh, Hobby Lobby. So it was $3.99. I'm sure it was half off because I'd never pay full price for anything there. And this is my birthday month, so this is March, and it says I want to be loved by you. And I love pink and I love black, so pink and black together just made my day. And I just did that one for March. And April is actually one of my favorites. I love this. I love the colors of this background paper. I love this uh, stamp. This is from Unity. It says be amazing, and then there were feathers so I attached three feathers and I put them with some twine hanging down I just this one's one of my favorites so that one will be really nice for April and this one is for May I love the brightness of this and I love the hedgehog and the deer and May is Tanya's birthday and she loves deer and I love hedgehog and, and I thought this was cute because the hedgehog is giving the deer a present so it's kind of like I'm giving my bestie a birthday present and I just put a whole bunch of those little flowers that you can get just about anywhere I'm sure I got them at Hobby Lobby and then I have glitter paper in the back and then this is a piece of uh, Wisteria Wonder and then this is an actual 4x4 four four that came already colored and everything for me and I just love it so then June is Father's Day and my husband is a handyman and I just thought that I would put this, use this to kind of pay tribute to him. And it says, thanks for being so handy, my guy, stud. And then there's tools in here and it's just really cute. And then I used some of the cutouts that I had. I don't remember if this was from Stampin' Up or if this, I think that these were from Stampin' Up, these cutouts, now that I'm thinking about it. That is a retired set now, but um, it's really cute. And this stamp and all of the things that went along with it are from Unity. And I'm this is just a paper that I've had in my stash from some collection a long time ago. And this one is Julie Nutting Doll, and it is on paper that I got at Joann's. It's in a paper pack, a nautical paper pack. And these are also from a nautical paper pack. I think that those were from Michael's though, but I'm not positive. I'm not positive. I'm thinking about it. And then I just did some of these in red. I like made some red glitter with the, the oh, those squeeze, squeeze tube glitters that I can't remember the name of right now. 
Oh, I keep wanting to say Wink of Stella, but that's not it. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Scripples, scruples, something like that. And you, um, stickles. There we go. So just glitter glue. And this says, life isn't about waiting for the winds to change. It's learning to adjust your sails. So that is for my July. And this is for August. I thought this was beautiful. Again, it's a Julie Nutting Mermaid. And this is some old Stampin' Up! paper that I'm using as the background. Actually, all of these are old Stampin' Up! papers. And this is September. I love this. These are Unity stamps, and I used some, oh, what's it called? Glossy accents on some of the leaves. And then this is some foil that I had in my stash and some other paper that I had in my stash. I believe this was a 8x8, goodness, I believe it was a designer series paper, but I, I could be wrong. And then these actually came in my Planner Addict box. No, it didn't. It came in Coco Daisy one, one month, and they are just post-it notes, but I thought they were really cute to accent. I love this hedgehog. So super cute. And then I colored them using alcohol inks. And this is October. So these stamps are all from Ghoulish Grunge. That was a stamp set from Stampin' Up! last year. And then I have this paper. And then these two are from a collection that I'm not sure who it was by. Maybe Hero Arts? I could be wrong. But um, I just put the paper down and then I put... I put this on some of the orange paper and cut a fussy cut that and then I put this sticker down and then I placed the whole thing on here and I know it's a little bit crooked but I'm pretending that I don't notice it does kill me but I tried to lift it up and I about ruined it so it wasn't worth it to try to lift it up and make it straight but that's that maybe if I have to cut a little it looks like I have to trim a little off maybe I can make it straight then and um, I love the like the blood falling down I don't know I just think it looks really cute so that's October, and this is November, and this says, Become the woman you dream of being, and I just think that's a really nice saying, and this picture is just perfect. I used some washi, I believe that was from Hobby Lobby, and I'm not sure where this paper came from, but it was part of a stash, a collection of different colors, and I just think it's lovely, so I, this makes me feel all warm inside. So that's November. And then December, I used the Moroccan Nights paper, which is, again, from Stampin' Up! and Retired. But um, I used an old Stampin' Up! I think it was called... Oh, I don't remember what it was called. But it was, a obviously, a Bethlehem stamp from Stampin' Up! a couple or three years ago. And this says, Come Let Us Adore Him. I think that may have even been what it was called, Come Let Us Adore Him. Um, so it says, Oh, come let us adore him. And I did this in the Stampin' Up! copper embossing powder. And then I stamped this in um, Tip Top Taupe. So I think it turned out really cute. I really like this page. And then finally, so that's all of the months. And then I also have this birthday page. So when it's somebody's birthday, if I want to just celebrate their birthday, I can take out whatever month it is and put this in just to kind of remind me that it's one of my kids birthdays or something just because I think it's so much fun and this I love this paper I love these stamps they're just adorable and they are from I'm not going to remember right now oh, but clearly they match Cartabella or something I think that's right I think it is Cartabella now that I'm saying that and I just think that they are adorable so that is my plan for that so I just kind of wanted to show you guys all of them and let you know what I was working on. And that's it for now. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day.